Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the DC analysis of CMOS transmission gate. So in the previous video, I have started the discussion of CMOS transmission gate, which is also sometimes referred to as pass gates. So CMOS transmission gate consisting of a PMOS and NMOS connected parallel between input and output. Okay. And when it is zero, it is acting as open circuited because both transistors are in off state and when the control signal is VDD volts, both the transistors are in on state and output is equal to input. The reason for going for the transmission gate instead of taking a simple transistor alone as a pass transistor because of the threshold voltage decrement or increment. So to balance that we are going for the transmission gate. Now coming to the DC analysis. DC analysis of transmission gate. DC analysis of transmission gate. So consider the transmission gate again. This is output V out and this is input V in are equal to we are applying VDD here. This is PMOS transistor, we are taking 0 volts and which is the opposite one here VDD. Okay, this is NMOS transistor and this is PMOS transistor. Now consider as we are giving the VDD the current ID is coming. This is the drain terminal ID and ID is divided into PMOS transistor as IDSP and it passes through NMOS transistor as IDSN. Okay, so that means the drain current is divided into IDSP and as well as IDSN. That is a it is a combination. So ID is equal to IDSP plus IDSN. Again at the output, these two are mixed together and produces passes through the output. Now basically this particular transmission gate is operated in three different regions. So region one, region one region 2 and region 3 okay the, the three regions are because of the applied voltages and their transmission uh, transmission gate transistors NMOS and PMOS uh, based on their status whether they are in saturation region or non saturation region based on that the different regions have come into existence so NMOS transistor is said to be in saturation region and PMOS transistor also is said to be in saturation region. That means when both the transistors are in on state, on state when they are in saturation then we are considering that region as 1 and during transmission, during transfer, transforming so NMOS transistor is still in saturation and PMOS transistor is in linear region or non-saturation region, linear region. And NMOS transistor is in cutoff region, NMOS transistor is in cutoff region and PMOS transistor is in linear region, linear region. See in the first case we have applied 1 here and 0 here. Then it is region 1 as NMOS transistor is taking 1 logic 1 VDD it is in saturation region and it is in as it is 0 volts that is also in on state so it is in saturation region. So both the transistors are in saturation region. Now we are reducing the VDD now we are reducing VDD to 0. See applied voltage this is applied voltage applied voltage so applied voltage is slowly changing from VDD to 0 volts as we are going from region 1 to region 3 okay 
So as the when it is at VDD by two, and mass transistor is still in saturation region, P mass transistor comes out of saturation region and it is in linear region. And when it is completely zero volts, N mass transistor is in cutoff region because it is open circuited and P mass transistor you now it is in linear region. Okay, so in these three regions, we are going to study about the characteristics. Okay, with respect to voltages, if you see in region 3, 0 volts to VTP volts, it is about region 1. And in region 2, VTP to VDD minus VTP, the voltage we are providing in this region 2 at the inputs of the NMOS and PMOS transistors is VTP to VDD minus VTP and here in region 3 it is VDD minus VTP to VDD ok this is the voltage variations this is the voltage variations for the region 1, 2, 3 operations now let us consider the input input node here whatever we have considered x input node x is connected to a constant high voltage vdd and the control signals has a logic high for nmos transistor and logic zero for uh, pmos transistors which are said to be non state okay in that situation the drain to source voltage and the gate to source voltage drain to source voltage means drain here drain this drain and these are the source terminals and this is the gate terminal okay terminals are import, import, very important to understand about the DC analysis because now we are taking VDS voltage and VGS voltage for this uh, and this transistor also VDS is calculated between drain and source terminals VGS is calculated between gate and source terminals okay and remember one thing the gate of uh, remember one thing the gate of uh, NMOS transistor and a drain of NMOS transistor both are connected at VDD potentials and gate of PMOS transistor is connected to 0 volts and drain of this PMOS transistor is connected to VDD okay with all these points we are going to write the equations the drain to source voltage the drain to source voltage comma gate to source voltage is gate to source voltage of NMOS transistors or NMOS transistors or so VDSN <coughs> so first we are writing for NMOS transistors, so VDSN is equal to come here. So VDSN DS for this NMOS transistor is VDD minus output because the drain voltage is VDD, source voltage is V out. So VDS is nothing but VD minus VS. So VDD minus V out. Hope you understand. VAB is equal to VA minus VB. Okay, so it is VDD minus V out simply very very simple equation coming to VGSN coming to VGSN VGS VGS for NMOS transistor VG minus VS VG where the gate potential is connected to VDD so VDD minus V out this is also same VDD minus V out so the NMOS transistor will be turned off NMOS transistor will be turned off for now in this situation the transistor is set to be non-state so now we are making the NMOS transistor will be turned off when V out is greater than VTP V out is greater than VTP and will operate in saturation node and operates in saturation node 
for V out is greater than VTP. So until this particular uh, uh, point met, the NMOS transistor is said to be in saturation. Now coming to the VDS and VPS voltages of VGS and VDS voltages for the PMOS transistor. So the drain to source and gate to source voltages of PMOS transistor are <coughs> VDS for PMOS transistor and VGS for PMOS transistor. Now let us go to that diagram. VDS VDS for PMOS transistor. Can you tell me VDS for PMOS transistor? It is again VD is connected to VDD and V out VS is connected to V out. VS is connected to V out. So VD minus V out. The VDD minus V out. But as it is a PMOS transistor, the terminals are in reverse order. Okay. So it is V out minus VDD. V out minus VDD. And coming to VGSP, VGSP the gate potential, <coughs> the gate potential is 0 and source potential, sorry this is source, this is source and this is drain, that is the reason why we have taken it in the reverse order, okay. So VG is connected to 0 volts and VDD is connected to uh, VG is connected to 0 volts and VS is connected to VDD. So, VGS is nothing but simply VDD. VDD. So, consequently, the PMOS transistor is in saturation. So, the PMOS transistor is in saturation for V out is less than VTP and it operates in linear region and it operates and mass is in saturation region only but uh, the PMOS transistor is operated in linear region linear region for VDD nothing but V out V out is greater than VTP. Okay. And we know the total current is divided. The total current the total current is divided what is the total current ID? ID is divided into IDSP and IDSN. IDSP and IDSN. So ID is equal to IDS PMOS transistor plus IDS NMOS transistor. IDS PMOS transistor and IDS NMOS transistor. So the equivalent resistance for PMOS and NMOS are see we have voltage and we have current. So you simply we can write the equation for the resistance which is voltage by current. So the equivalent resistance equivalent resistance for NMOS and PMOS transistors are calculated as calculated as so R equivalent for NMOS transistor is equal to VDD minus V out by IDSN. What do you mean by VDD minus V out? V R equivalent is always calculated. See for any transistor, if you are taking an NMOS transistor here, for this transistor, what is the amount of resistance offered between drain and source? So drain to source VDD, VDD minus VS is connected at the output terminal in our example. So VDD minus V out divided by what is the current flowing through this one IDS. And similarly, R equivalent for PMOS transistor 
is also equal to the same ddd minus v out by ids n ids p okay ids p or as it is a p must transistor we can write it as i isd isd p okay isd p also we can write it in that form so the total equivalent resistance of this so, uh, total cmos uh, transmission gate will then be the parallel resistances of this r equivalent n and r equivalent p okay and similarly we can calculate the equivalent values for the transistors when they are uh, changing from on to off and off to on when we are changing the input voltages okay first let me write this therefore the total equivalent resistance for cmos transmission gate cmos transmission gate is r total r equivalent total is equal to r equivalent of p mos transistor in parallel with r equivalent of n mos transistor okay so r equivalent of p r equivalent of n divided by r equivalent of p plus r equivalent of n this is the r equivalent of total cmos transmission gate resistance okay so in the next video i will explain what is the amount of equivalent resistance offered in region 1 2 3 depends on the changes in the voltages okay thank you